What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are on one of Teddy's accounts, he's one of my favorites, you guys know which one it probably is, not, well, not the scary account, yes he does have a scary account, but it's kind of like the forest meme team, and you know what we're going to try to do today, we're going to get Sealand 20 done, do we have enough to do it, yeah absolutely, we got a flora, we got some imprints on her, we're going to have some fun, so um, yeah, I don't know how exactly I want to build her. Uh, we do need to decide how we're going to build both of these Garudas, though. So what other artifacts do we have? We mainly have tanky artifacts pretty much on everybody. So let's see. Let's take a look. I think, honestly, I think Flora might be one of our biggest damage dealers here. I'm going to do something interesting here. I'm actually going to remove these pieces of gear. And we're going to throw them over on the Flora with the Holy Attack Stone here. And we're going to build our offensive and see what happens. <laughs> I really want to see how this works out. Flora can do some crazy damage. Um, so that's good. She's definitely got Void Imprints. But we do have this Garuda. Actually, hold on. Let me look at the stones. Crit, crit attack. HP, Holy Attack. You know what? Nope, nope, nope. You get the Kiss of Ghost. You are going to get the tanky setup. So we're going to run a split gear setup with a tanky artifact. Is that the tankiest one we have? It looks like it. So this skin is the Wild West versus... What's this one? We don't have the other skin, do we? Does there skin on this one? No, they're both Wild West, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so this one's going to be the tanky one, Wild West. The regular one is going to be a more attack-oriented one with attack enables. These are going to get swapped over to tanky enables. Um, You know, we got floor for damage. So, yeah, we're, we're going to swap that too. And then, of course, we're going to have some other heroes. We're going to have... And we almost... Honestly, I want to upgrade that. Because we have a Rogan here. I guess we can run a full gear setup. I do want to run energy on the Olivia. I want to get that fairy guard up immediately. Can we upgrade this without really trashing some stuff? Not really. Darn. All right. I guess I guess we just stick we stick with the A and B for now. We'll do that. We'll do this weird split gear setup. Heart Watcher, same thing. Split gear setup. Should be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, yeah, that, that looks good. The only other thing we could do, actually, you know, which is better? Do you getting the 10% damage reduction or like 8% more HP? Probably the damage reduction. All right. The pet that we're going to be using is a full-blown Phoenix. Speed's a little slow, but doesn't matter. Uh, Dragon isn't anywhere near what we need to use. Honestly, on this one, it might even be better to have something like, uh, what is it? The snake pet. The snake pet would be cool. I'm pretty sure this is going to go, this is going to go really easy, right? I mean, this is going to go really, really easy. So, we decided you are the tanky one. Um... Aside on the order of the rest of the heroes here. We just put Olivia in the front, Heart Watcher in the front, Rogan in the front, but then he doesn't get his bloodthirst off. I guess we try something like that. Let's just see what happens. We might just crush it with the floor. You never know. Floor can really, really pop off. She's stronger than what people expect from her, but at the end of the day, I don't think I've really seen anybody using a Flora. In Sealand, at least I haven't. I'm sure there have been. Those are some interesting targets. All right, we got an active there. We got another active here. Let's see what Flora can do. Okay, maybe she's not great at damage. <laughs> we'll see. Hold on. We'll see. Let's give her a little bit more of a chance. <laughs> maybe she'll pop off. She does get the twine. Maybe we need to use her as the tanky target. This is a little experiment. Yeah, that was kind of bad. <laughs> that was kind of bad for us. So... Maybe we need to move the rogue into the back row. See if we can live to round two. Olivia just doesn't seem to do the damage. I'm wondering if we have mage tech. Hold on, hold on. Maybe we don't have mage tech either. That could be a problem. 
Let's see how this ends up working out. We didn't get any twines, really? Really, Olivia? That's your whole purpose. Oh, Olivia even died right there. Good Lord, okay. Okay, all right, we'll swap it up. We'll put Olivia in the front. We'll build her tanky. We'll do a little swap here. I was hoping. I was like, maybe, just maybe we can make this work. Nah, nah. <laughs> Not gonna happen. So we will build a tankier one. We'll, we'll give her like the full tank mode set up here. Give you that as well. Uh, and then let's go over to you. Let's get you back to your offensive setup. We'll put you in the back row as well. That is good. I think that's all set. I think, I think we'll be fine. I was hoping, I was like, maybe, maybe she's the key here. Maybe she makes it work. Uh, I do think I want to put Heart Watcher in the front. I think out of all the heroes, I'd rather get a second shrink from Olivia than a second, than an active from Heart Watcher, I think? I don't know. The tough choice. Uh, we kind of split those reductions there. She does proc. We are going to get uh, active from Rogue, and it's kind of late, though. But this is definitely better having two offensive Garuda so far. Is it enough? No. No, it's not. No, it's not. What if we just do something really crazy and put a Garuda and a Floor in the front row? Does that completely screw us over? I don't know how that works out. All right, round two actives incoming. So Flora does live, that's fine. I feel like we're gonna need to high roll some twines just like that to have a chance. Maybe we even killed, oh, do we actually kill him off and get a heal? Yes, we do. <gasps> we're only gonna take that one attack and we now have our Garuda split. So I think they get to an active. I think, oh, this is gonna be really close. At least the backline one gets to it. Oh, they both do. Is that the magic ticket? Oh, it is. All right. Look at that. So Flora was literally a CC target and a tank. That's all we needed her for. That was surprising. And leaving the, the support heroes in the back was smart too. The big difference is if that... Garuda was in the back row instead of the front row right there. You saw that last round where the priest only hit the back row and the warrior only hit the front row. Well, if they're both in the back row, almost, I'm pretty sure both the warrior and the uh, the priest in the back row, or is it mage? I don't know if they're mages. What are you guys? I think maybe mages. I think they both target like the front or back line. So they would hit everybody in that row. But that way it saved our shields and kind of distributed it. Man, I wish there was a re replay button. You guys can of course go back and watch the replay. But man, there we go. We almost got another one of these bad boys too. So Teddy's, uh, Teddy's force meme team finally achieved greatness. Of course, because it is a force meme team, Still not to death one. Maybe Flora can kind of help out there. That would be that would be kind of something cool if she could actually get there. Because that's kind of the next next improvement is getting to death one. Of course, this account will never get to death 50 or death 100. Unless Garuda just boom becomes like this crazy hero after imprinting. I don't think that's going to be the case. But you guys know what I want to see on this account. I want to see another Flora. I want to see I want to see this man right here. I want, I want to see him being built too. I really, really want a twine meme team that is literally 100% Floras and Oberons. But God, that sounds so horrible overall for like everything PVE wise. I need to do it right. I need to eventually do it. A, a twine meme team needs to happen. It sounds like so much fun. I'll be honest, I was one of those people back when like the three and four Oberon uh, armies were around, the Oberon just complete CC devastation teams like a year and a half ago. I thought it would be cool to have one. But now adding this girl into the equation as well, whew, get a whole team of Rui Scepters and just CC lock a team down forever potentially. 
maybe we should do it i don't know you guys let me know that sounds like a very expensive endeavor though <laughs> that sounds like a not free to play account if i do say so myself so let me know what you guys think hopefully you guys enjoy this one something kind of highlighting some uses of flora for sealand hopefully uh hopefully this count keeps progressing and we get more twine heroes if not i guess more more forest heroes is fun but hopefully you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys next time